Welcome to our tutorial on errors. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering syntax and runtime errors. First, let's go to Tools, Options. On the Editor tab, we've got an option for Auto Syntax Check. It's a good idea to check this box as well as to check the one under it, Require Variable Declaration. OK. With the require variable declaration option checked, our code will display the line that I'm showing you here, option explicit. This basically means that the variable has to be declared. Let's begin by commenting out the declaration line, and I'm going to try to run the program now. Enter a value, and we test. I get a compile error, variable not defined. OK. Let's stop the program from running. If I misspell something, I get an error message. Here's another example. Another error message. All right, let's run our program. If I enter an integer in the text box and run the program, everything seems fine. But if I enter a string and try it again, I get a runtime message, number 13, type mismatch. Let's click Debug. Visual Basic highlights the problem line in my code. When I mouse over it, I see that integer A on the right-hand side doesn't store any value. The text box on the right stores a two-letter string. Let's stop our program. Let's say I make some modifications now. I'm going to declare this variable as a string. Tab to select. Now let's run our application again. Let's enter a string here and test again. Again, we get a runtime error. Let's click Debug. Let me mouse over the problem line so I can see what's going on. We've got a mismatched data type. Let's stop and run our program again. Let's input a value and test. Now everything seems fine. As you see, by the end of our debugging process here, our program accepts letters instead of numbers as values. And this concludes our tutorial about errors. 